yeah look at me looking all dapper and everything you know i got uh this little coat right here you know a little fur coat going and you know it was funny because you know i've been struggling with money a little bit even though i'm working and teaching online um because only part time so i haven't been able to get me a jacket so i'm like man and even the money that i do get it's just for accommodation it's just for grub and maybe some other miscellaneous expenses but nonetheless i'm just like man you know i i remember just walking in budapest and just freezing my ass off every day being cold the hustle the struggle you know uh, long story short i come to Gior. i'm still freezing cold because of the wind chill and uh i don't think this is the way but i'm gonna find the roman ruins find a way up there and uh show you guys that along with the fire tower but finishing up the story real quickly though she i rope is i um was in jor and i was just walking and it was it was just so freaking windy and i was like man just like praying you know uh that you know i can stop being so cold all the time like i just prayed i'm like i'm just tired of being cold you know just like fuck it you know fuck this shit and then i see this which looks brand new by the way this fur coat laying on the bench right outside apartment complex and whatnot so i was like i'm gonna take that shit you know ain't nobody claiming it got me a nice fur coat keep me warm you know why not so it might look a little you know i don't know it might not suit me what do y'all think but uh it works you know, it does the trick, keeps me warm, so now I'm all good in the hood, you know. And here lies the ancient Roman city of Scarbantia, or what's left of it. Many, many centuries ago, this was actually, believe it or not, y'all, an ancient it was actually a Roman city and Roman emperors stepped foot on this soil y'all can y'all believe that she I rope this is a uh, right you know slapped in the middle of the city though you know right in the Chandra so but just look at this stunning the back streets I hear my heart beat we gon' rock Hungary standing together and uh, I think it's to the right y'all to the right to the right uh, I'm going now to see this house of the two moors another tourist attraction uh, you just got to see this house. It's uh, it's amazing. Uh, and it's, uh, of course, more people are like, I, I believe they originate from like Morocco area or maybe, you know, something along those lines close to that. And it's in the Baroque style too. So, and I think the street is called like Ice Pick Road or something like that, which is pretty cool. So, gonna mobble there. And uh, I did my Google Maps, y'all. I did my homework because I still don't have a cell phone yet. So I remember on the maps, uh, the layout, uh, the route, you know, memorized it. You know, got a pretty good memory still because I do all that reading. <laughs> Read to train my mind, you know, got to. this way y'all
But I'm only here for like three or four hours, so I got limited time, but I think I can see it all. I think I can get it done before six. So I got here like at one or two, so I got like four hours. Yeah, plenty of time. And I'm coming up on it looks like a school here. High school, perhaps, or a and or college university. But let me see if I can find this place, y'all. Let's see. I think it was to the left, y'all. I think it was, yeah, I just gotta go make a loop around. So I've come up this back street now. And I think I've already found it. There's like this cathedral up there. You know, you can see it the brown in color or tannish, kind of a tannish color. You can see that. And then with the Baroque style gate here, this is the, the house of the two Moors. And I thought it was further down. I thought I had to walk at least 15, 20 minutes, get like a little workout going. But uh, this is the uh, the house of the two moors, y'all. Yeah, like I said, the Baroque style gate here. Definitely Baroque architecture too. And you got the two moors right there, one on this side and the other juxtaposed, you know, on this other side, see, so. And the windows are broken out here too, so I'm guessing nobody is, you know, living inside or maybe there is some other properties within I can kind of see through the cracks there, but anyway. This is the house of Moors, and I'm gonna go back down to the, the fire tower now. Uh, this is an interesting city. It's just, uh, I'm still trying to get my bearings, you know, and I have, like I said, you know, a limited amount of time here, but I'm gonna do the best I can with the time I got, you know. Uh, I got to, you know, live, live, live my life to the fullest and just, uh, Try to see it all. You can't see everything. Just remember that, guys. You can't see everything, but uh, you just try to do what you can. You know what I'm saying? Because time is limited and uh, time is fleeting. You know, it just goes on and on quickly. So uh, you already know. You got to keep moving, keep trekking, keep doing you, and uh, and that's pretty much. You know, that's it and that's all type of thing. There. You know, get her done, like they say. But I'm going to head down now to the fire tower, show you guys that. And I'm debating if I want to go up uh, into the tower or not, because you got to pay. So we'll see. This is the fire tower up close and personal. And. Actually, I think I'm going to conclude the video here, you know what I'm saying, because I believe it's about four or five euros to get inside access to the fire tower to go up to the top. I mean, there's other exhibits and museums inside the fire tower itself, but in terms of ascending to the top and getting like a panorama view of um, Ch uh, Chopron, uh, I don't think it's worth it, you know? Just, you know, I, I'm on a budget and I'm like, I get it, you know, everybody's trying to make money. It's a hustle, it's a game, but I just don't want to throw that cash out because I can use it, you know, in, in another fashion, you know what I'm saying, in another way that would better suit me, that would benefit me, you know what I mean? But I will mention about the fire tower real quickly that, you know, back in ancient times, they had uh, guards, you know, obviously at the top there. And 
they would just have to alert people of fires. They would have to let motherfuckers know if the enemy was approaching, if people were coming and they were going to like trade or exchange goods. And moreover, you know, they even had instruments. So they had to know how to play a trumpet, you know, and play some musical tunes, you know. So they had to do that to... In, in order for people to know the time, you know, so to notify people they had to blow the trumpet on the hour. Um, anywho, I don't think I'm going to go up in there, man. I'm still debating. I'm indecisive, like always, but I think I'm going to just uh, check out and uh, get back to Gior before all the trains, you know, stop so I don't get stuck here. But toodaloo, y'all. Happy trails. Y'all already know. Follow Mandiri Shum. Keep watching the channel, subscribe, etc. You know the deal. Peace. I'm gone. Signing off from Chopron and the Fire Tower. Fire Emblem, y'all. That's how we do it. Fire Emblem style. Ooh. And that's a wrap.